Hey, Tupeluku, Thomas here with another part of our Let's Play for StarCraft II Wings of Liberty uh, on the Brutal difficulty. Last we left off, we uh, made a deal with Tosh to acquire a bunch of minerals on Redstone, acquiring the Reaper unit. We upgraded our bunkers. We got our first research for the bunker as well. And we will now be heading off to Agria. So, founded by renowned terraformer Dr. Bernard Hansen, the Agria colony has been one of the Dominion's principal botanical and wildlife preserves. Considering the Dominion is about four years old, this planet's colony was either founded relatively soon or it used to belong to the Confederacy. We'll see. Any ship receiving this transmission? The Zerg are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, Please help us. Thought it was a botanical wildlife preserve. Hmm. Liar. Oh, shit. They actually have information there. Scientist and colony leader. She is requesting that you undertake the selected missions. I guess maybe Bernard's daughter. Is this monarchy? <laughs> we'll be getting 100k and three Zerg research. We'll be unlocking the Firebat, a specialized anti infantry attacker with flamethrowers. All right. Incoming transmission. Thank you so much for responding to our distress call, Commander. I'm Dr. Ariel Hansen, and I represent the people of the Agria Colony. Pleasure to meet you, Doc. You can call me Jim. What's the situation? The Zerg have overwhelmed our planetary defenses. The colony is lost. For the past 12 hours, we've been evacuating people to the nearest starport, but the Zerg attacks have become so intense, we can't get any more through. If you can guard the highway, we can start sending the remaining groups every few minutes. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get your folks through to that starport safe and sound. I pray you're right, Commander. The Zerg are more terrible than I ever imagined. I mean, the models are so crisp and sharp, and then the gameplay blurb is really blurry. I think that's just, that's just the way it is. I have the graphics on Ultra, so... I just think that's, unfortunately, one of the design choices. I could select the Special Ops dropship. There are a few secrets here. I find it a bit annoying that <laughs> this is very hard to know. Um, there are some resources up here. Once again, as always, acquiring resources early on, I mean, it allows you to snowball way quicker, getting multiple things at the same time, upgrades, getting units, getting bunkers. I mean, it's so good to get resources real quick. Um, not that necessary for the lower difficulties, but on Brutal, yeah, we're going to do that. Are there resources here as well? No. There are some there, though. This mission actually has a lot of resource pickups. How can we save her? Ah, oh, that's too bad. We're going to get this next resource patch. Right there. Earth. And we're gonna get the rest of the gas right there. Run, run, run! They do splash damage, but they, they're not incredibly good and they're not all that tanky, especially when you have the water. Uh, I will be getting some of them. Thank goodness you're here. I'll give you control of the main building right. so you can help us evacuate Let's get the colony. Some SCVs. Let's get an engineering yes, bay real quick. Oh yeah, and then the, uh, oh. the mercenaries do unlock layers. So actually, delaying was not a huge issue. We're gonna get another supply depot. We're gonna get another fire bat and another medic. Um, oh, it's not there. We're gonna get an additional barracks real quick if we can. Some more we'll need to escort the convoys all the way to the main starport for them to have a chance of escaping this Actually, planet. we're going to get infantry combat. The first convoy right from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. We got a bunker right here. Someone had the right idea of building bunkers to defend the roads. Why are they empty? Why are they empty? The Dominion military abandoned them when the Zerg more attacked. Minerals. They didn't really give a really damn good. about the we need colony. another infantry. Sorry to hear that, Doc. Marine, At least these bunkers are in a good spot. I'll see if we can't get them there. More mini minerals right there. Oh, don't die. Don't die, please. Don't die, please. Yikes. 
see that the medic upgrade very needed. Very good to have. We're gonna get a Marauder. Misclick, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. I'd like to have gotten more resources. I'm just gonna go get them. Um, we're gonna need a other supply depot real quick. Another bunker over here. There are some more resources right there. Yeah. Ooh, this is really bad. This is really bad. No. Ooh, I'm debating a restart actually. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna restart right there. Um. No last checkpoint, I believe. That's a real shame. I'm gonna get that again. I'm gonna get this real quick. We're gonna get a few supply replays. Alright, I will be making a cut here, so I did have to restart, unfortunately. I was a bit sloppy with my units. So, hopefully, I'm not, you know, cutting myself off. The Dominion you know, within, military like, abandoned them when the Zerg attacked. How do I put they didn't it? Give a damn Hopefully I'm them. not like mid sentence where I make the cut. <laughs> At least these bunkers are um, the we'll see. I'll see if we can't get a man. The first convoy from Lars Crossing will be moving out soon. I won't make the cut. You'll just have to see me do it. Uh, I'm wondering what wise things I said in. in the alternate version of this on? mission. Oh. Let's get another infantry and another medic. I think last time I got a uh, another fire bat, which is kind of useless. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. It's one of those things you can actually destroy some of these buildings. I don't know if that makes it slower or not. I know that there are some enemies right there that's kind of killed our forces last time, so we're just gonna ignore that. Armed and ready. Uh, we're just gonna walk along with the. Actually, I'm gonna put one marine in there, no, just in case, and one marine in there. Get some more marines. Can I get the war pigs? No, not yet. I need another. Another. Well, I believe there are gonna be some servants right there. Just two marines to escort, not the best. At least they have combat shields, so that's something. Oh. I'm gonna place these forces in there. So I believe it's one of those things where, I mean, as it turns out, the, uh, let me get one last, three less. <laughs> Three more. Is under attack. Oh God. It's one of those things where you're unsure how the mission you know, is going to go. So I wanted to collect these resources, but on Google, like, there are a bunch of enemies we're going to get in combat. SCB ready. No upgrades. We're just gonna get. Actually, we're not gonna get any more marines there. An additional ah, supply me. depot. We actually want to get the war pegs real quick. So I'm gonna cancel some of these. These specifically. You want a piece of me, boy? I'm gonna cancel the medic as well. I really want the hammer securities. They are so good. It's a long haul to the starport, partner. How can we be expected to guard the whole thing? I reckon we can I'm use a build another bunker right there. So we are going to be using bunkers. Um, on lower difficulty, you can mix and match. You can you can just walk back and forth. Um, on this higher difficulty, it's that's that's, that's not good enough. Yes, sir. Been waiting on you. I think I'll do this and this. This will be my I guess bunker setup. This better be good. So, on that note, the hammer securities have been acquired. Gonna 
gonna get a few more. Not enough minerals. Yeah, I think 15 is enough because we are gonna be mining Not out these minerals. minerals. I'll get Not one more CD. Minerals. Um. Not enough minerals. Get to the starport, move it! I believe I have enough forces here. Just gonna put two in each. We'll be filling them up with time. This is gonna be an issue. Um, let's do that. So we have trickling reinforcements in. Um, is there anything else I can do? We're getting the infantry combat upgrades right here. As you can see we have the first attack wave. They're just gonna get worse. But the forces we have left in the bunker are fine. I'm actually gonna unload this bunker. Yeah. I feel like that was needed. <laughs> Fire bass in the back. I believe I have some forces there. Yeah, I do. But that's good. Uh, we're actually gonna take this CD with us. I am majorly supply lock. Base is under attack. That should be enough. Sure that held out. So I mean, oh, good. we got our SCV there in time. There will later be an upgrade um, that we can get that increases the rate of repair. That combined with the bunker upgrades and the orbital command are probably like will keep the best upgrades in the game. Um, orbital command for mules is going to get us a huge amount of resources. Um, you gonna give me orders? I'm actually gonna cancel this. Oh, I didn't actually have to raise it. And I think I'm gonna get a third barracks. I should be able to maintain the resource expenditure. I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get a few more SCVs. I'm gonna start getting the bunker. I'm gonna take my guys here while we're waiting and get the next research. Um, I'm actually going to put on? two here. I don't think I need all that much Mexican gas. I say as I get a bunch of gas in this. Well, I'm just going to get Marines mostly from Commander, now another convoy will be heading out soon. Um, we're going to pick up. See, so there's like 100 Vespine here. That's quite a bit for us. There are a bunch of resources here. Maybe we swing around. I don't know it's really good. I think we're in a position now where... We're fine. Actually, I'm gonna get that there. Clearing this out. Bunch of resources here as well. Yes, sir. I believe this is where they get their bases, so we need to be really careful here. Alright, we're good to go. Don't leave without us! Don't leave without us. In the rear with the gear. Um, Actually gonna Roger that. put those in there. The is in. Uh, I'm gonna put another fire bat in there. Fire bat in there. Let's see if we have enough resources. You gonna give me orders? By the numbers, boys. Been waiting on you. gonna give me orders? I might actually, yeah, I think I'll put a second fire battle there. I lost the base is under attack. Our SCVs uh, under attack. Ah, run, run. Better send some body bags. Base is under attack. Being attacked from multiple fronts right here. We're gonna get another few SCVs right there. Hopefully, I'll make it in time. Fortunately, have quite a bit of a defense over there. I think I'm gonna have essentially two SCVs. Oh, I just have a. Okay, I think we're good to go. We're just gonna head over there. Additional supply depots. Our supply box again. Well, I mean, considering we're losing units, I guess that's a good problem to have. Not really, but we're gonna pretend it is. Uh, what we're gonna do now 
I think we have enough time. We're gonna set him to control, which is basic infantry. We're gonna evacuate this warp pig right on? here. Build a third get bunker. Get him to control. We're gonna take this force right here, and we're gonna acquire our last research. Honestly, think we might have enough. Um, war pigs. Enough Vespian gas for Sir, the rest of the mission. We just Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. Additional. Uh, we have building. another convoy ready to be we're escorted, building. Commander. This is nice. Forward to it. Ten forward. There we go. So that, I think, is it for the resource pickups that we will be acquiring. What is this guy doing here? Um, I think we're going to build something like... I should have built this maybe slightly back. Well, I think a third second bunker. Um, we're going to put these with that. We're going to put this right here. By the numbers, boys. We're gonna have. Where does it hurt? You gonna give me orders? Oh. Who wants some? Everyone's here. Let's go. I think we're Standing good to by. go. We're gonna have you two ready? medics here with our SUV. Go go go! It's about to get heavy. Uh, we're gonna put <laughs> another fire bat in there. And four oh, more marines in there. And here we have our little defensive force. Roger that. Got it. Um. The Marines we're going to put in there right now. We're going to let these join. The colonists are hurt. Yeah, we we're going we're gonna to need to patrol with our forces in conjunction with the uh, bunkers that we placed. I believe this is enough of a military force to hold off. The, uh, the different Zerg waves while our uh, major force actually comes in and you know, rescues them. Uh, we're gonna get a few more spidey bows. I can't build here. Yeah, that'll be fine, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, quite a bit of forces over there. Getting a second SCV there would be good, and getting a second SCV here would be good. We are, after all, kind of. Mining out the, uh, the minerals. Oof, two Baymans. I think I managed to kill one of them before I hit. These are the overlords. I think. I don't know. I've mentioned. I think in Zero Hour, like the equivalent to the Supply Depot. It's one of those things. Where I think most people watching this, if anyone watches this, will be familiar with StarCraft. But you know, in the unlikely event that you're not, I still want to be a bit clear about different things, explaining different things. Um, you know, in the off chance that this is your first foray into RTS, I just want to... I don't want to say over-explain, but I want things to be, like, easily understandable for everyone, I guess. I'm going to put one more fire bat in there. A round of Marines. We're going to get the War Pigs. Sir, I'm picking up seismic disturbances closing in on your position. I think it's some kind of tunneling, sir. I think we're in a position Wonderful. that's it's honestly like pretty great. I think we don't really have to worry anymore. We're almost done, Commander. I could another theoretically get another bunker here as like a buffer bunker. Um, I would get yes, bunker sir. here. Why not? Um, let's see. So I have two fire bats in here. Armed and ready. Let's put the last that's fine. in there. Yeah, the range is way longer than those. Through. Having, I believe the bunker has a base range in addition of one. I'm a bit unsure, but with the upgrade, it's definitely one. So the new steel that we got, plus one range, so a marine will have six range. If a bunker already gives a plus one range, I don't think it does. But if it does, then that'd be seven, which is very far. Um, very deadly. Um, and with the upgrade, I mean, our bunkers have 550 HP. So basically, six upgraded marines shooting with multiple times their HP protecting them at all times. I mean, that is such a force multiplier. It's really good. All right. The final convoy. 
we get the final war picks? Yes, we can. We are actually lacking medics. That is a concern. But we eviscerated that night of storm. I mean, not even close. We cannot let 20 colonists die. I don't even think we're going <laughs> to... Let, let's not be overconfident, but I don't think we will lose the convoy here. I don't think it has that much HP. It has like 200, I think. Um, you can actually repair it with SCVs, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I mean, this, this shreds through essentially everything. I think. There we go. And this kind of concave with like flamethrowers and all these other things. Yeah, the, yeah it's no issue at all. So there's going to be a Nidus one popping out here, I believe. Any second. There we go. And uh, that's it. That was Acrio. Aside from the <laughs> screw up at the start. Not that difficult of a mission. I mean, it is supposed to be one of the two first missions. Uh, a slight challenge if you do not have the bunker upgrades, but as soon as you get both of those, in addition, we got the research upgrade. Our bunkers are so powerful, they can take care of almost everything. The marine and medic upgrades help a lot as well. I mean, those three, I guess, categories of upgrades on this mission, basically, I mean, yeah, so good. We've lost the colony, but my people got out alive, thanks to you, Commander. You're very welcome, the friends. So yeah, complete the evacuation mission on normal without losing a transport truck, we did get that. Complete the evacuation mission on hard difficulty without losing or salvaging a structure. I'm pretty sure we got that as well, so all achievements from the base game on Brutal. Um, the anniversary achievement is actually destroying the two Zerg bases. We were on normal. Uh, we were nowhere close to that. I think, I think running it a bit sharper, getting those resource pickups real quick, maybe would have enabled us to do that. Um, oh well. Great job, sir. Dr. Hansen's offered to stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. It's hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. Perhaps I could start there. Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. I resent that summary of events. Stetman is our guy. He may be a bit of a dipshit, but he is very smart. And, I mean, I think it's him who... I mean, he's the guy who's essentially doing all the uh, <laughs> the uh, the research here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move this way from now on. We're going to go from the Armory Bridge, Cantina, Laboratory, and then we'll say goodbye. I think that'll be, a, that'll be our strat. I mentioned before about the Marauder, how it is essentially a reworked fire bat suit, only, you know, they're the goody two shoes people, 47% of them only having been to jail and only 23% have been accused of murder. So here we have the fire bat, which is the same type of suit, but I guess unmodified. I mean, you can see it looks almost exactly the same, only that it has flamethrowers instead of pulsar grenades. The Firebat suit contains a volatile mix of gases that seep into the operator's compartment. This may explain why Firebat personnel are almost universally re-socialized criminals or psychotic pyromaniacs. Um, the perdition flamethrowers spew combustible plasma at the enemy targets. The plasma easily seeps into gaps in Zerg carapaces. Smaller Zerg creatures are literally cooked alive inside their own skins. Fire washes the skin off the bone and the sin off the soul. It cleans away the dirt. And my mama didn't raise herself no dirty boy. Franco Tilden, widely credited as the first fighting firebat, reformed mass murderer. Great. Glorious. I mean, these are the staple infantry units from StarCraft 1 and Brood War. Uh, so, they are um, not useless, but they are very not good in this campaign. Because um, they just have 100 HP. Uh, with the upgrades, especially the plus two armor, they do get a lot better. 
are still not that good. The Marauder is just a better unit, especially with, you know, 125 HP. Um, I think we're going to do the Great Train Robbery after this point. Oh, shoot. Um, we are going to get the Marauder HP. Um, that's going to be our first uh, upgrade for today. The Kinetic Foam. Marauders gain 25 life. Marauder armor can survive crushing impacts, but the same cannot always be said for the soldier inside. To help solve this problem, Wolf Industries offers a kinetic foam undersuit that protects the soldier from violent impacts the armor takes. Surely the lives of your marauders are worth the small investment required to outfit them with kinetic foam. I highly agree. Just keep those colonists out of my armory. There's a disaster just waiting to happen. Mm, I'd agree with that. We're on the bridge. It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. We can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. And every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a better future. I know, Matt. But it's been four years and we're still no closer to bringing Minx down. Now with the Zerg back in the mix, your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. It's one of those things where the Dominion has actually only existed for, well, it's four years between Brood War and this game, so four years plus the length of Brood War, which is maybe, you know, at most a year's worth of length of time. So, I mean, Manx has only been dictated for five years. It's kind of remarkable that so much time went by. I feel like they probably should have made the time skip a bit longer, maybe six years instead, or maybe even eight years. Um, but, I mean, it's not completely without the realms of plausibility, I guess. I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal, terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. I just well, with saved Dominion your being what it I is, <laughs> someone's got to stand up for the little guy. It sure ain't going to be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. I mean, what's interesting is, I feel like Rainer, Matt, Kerrigan, obviously, and Tychus all have really good voice actors. Um, I think Stetman and Swan are pretty decent as well. Warfield's pretty fun. There are a few that aren't quite as good. I don't think... Hansen is terrible, or the Artanis is terrible, but Artanis is replaced for Legacy of the Voids. So, I mean, that says something. Got yourself some colonists now. Ooh, and a pretty doctor. <laughs> Best be careful with them. Mm. Lots of folks ready to fight for the right price. So we've unlocked the Devil Dogs. We are going to get them. Fire Bats aren't that good, but with the 60% more HP and 25% more damage, they're still worth it. I might actually, hmm, I might hold out, but at the same time, we can't really get any other upgrades I want right now, so we are actually going to get them. These ex-Confederate firebats have fought in dozens of worlds over the last four years. They don't care about causes, only cash. So we are actually going to get all the mercenaries, they're just so good. Um, be foolish not to get them. You meet Dr. Hansen yet? Sure did. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical. No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah? Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could read the ladies. I just want to say that he's stuck in that suit, so I mean, what kind of physical is he able to get? Like, is he able to detach parts of it, or does it have, like, compartments for oh, I'm unsure. Another thing is that his hands are actually here. These are just, like, robotic gloves that he controls by pressing levers on his fingers, if you remember the opening cinematic. So he must actually be really, really good at, you know managing and maintaining tools that he doesn't have any feeling in unless there is some sort of nerve sensor feedback connection from these robotic fingers to his brain i don't i don't know i'm getting too damn old for this donny vermilion unn we've got kate lockwell on remote feed from agria a fringe colony are you there kate okay we 
seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself, General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. With General Warfield at the helm, and our finely honed Dominion military under his command, I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg swarm will be defeated in no time. Up next, Raynor ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappears. Coincidence? Coincidence? You decide after these messages. Warfield, maybe not the most subtle name, but I thought I was super cool when I was a kid, and you know what? I think we should just roll with it. We have not acquired any more. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Eight hundred and two to the power four. We have not acquired any more research, um, so we do need to get up to ten. Well, multiples of five to get the next. So I think we are gonna end right here. I believe we'll be doing either Belshir or. Great train robbery. I think we're gonna do Belshir first. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoy. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.